say you are what you eat, so if you eat healthy, you'll be healthy. We're here to help you do just that on The Fit List. Just a few tips here, you know, of what to switch up and you live a healthier life. How easy is that for you? Sprouts nutritionist Janet Little reveals the healthiest alternatives to some surprisingly not so healthy foods. Number one, use butter instead of margarine. Just go easy on it. You don't want to be, I'm going to put all this on my bread. Not a good idea, yes, right? moderation is the key. Next, looking to cook up a snack to wash down that new DVD? Pop your popcorn kernels on the stove instead of nuking them. What's so bad about the microwave? Because I kind of live on that, like, Date night, come on over, we're gonna have some popcorn and watch a movie. Do they come back for the second date when you do that? Yeah, no, but sadly I don't <laughs> think it has anything to do with the popcorn. And here's another unexpected tip to help that date go better. No soy milk. So you can become really bloaty if you consume a lot of soy. That explains why a lot of those dates didn't return. <laughs> it was the soy. So say no to soy, instead drink down some almond, coconut, oat, or even hazelnut milk. That's right, it's not just 1% or 2% anymore. More helpful tips. Try fresh tomatoes or ones in a glass jar instead of canned tomatoes, since canned food generally contains the harmful chemical BPA, which clings to acidic foods like tomatoes. Experiment with coconut, grapeseed, and olive oil instead of vegetable oil, which is very high in omega-6 fatty acids. And on the salty side, switch to sea salt, Himalayan, or crystal salt. Table salt is refined, meaning no nutrients. You can do better than that. Come on, have some self respect going to health in a handbasket on the fit list.